Good Thursday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast for this September the 10th. After some badly needed rain has finally fallen over southern Kentucky. It was good to see the rain, hear that rumble of thunder yesterday afternoon and evening. That was nice. I was getting ready to curl up in bed and rumbles of thunder, that deep rolling thunder. That usually indicates a good uh, steady downpour of rain, and that's what most of us received uh, yesterday. Uh, At the airport, officially, for the 24-hour period ending at midnight, 32 hundredths of an inch of rain. Now, we've picked up a little bit more since midnight, but uh, some locations a half inch, three quarters of an inch or more. Uh, Some locations even getting close to an inch of rain, depending on Uh, Some of those uh, more drenching downpours. But badly needed rain. It's helped the atmosphere clear out and clean out just a little bit more. Now, we're going to get a little bit of a break from the rain today. And we're seeing showers on radar this morning. But all of that will gradually come to an end from west to east as we go through the morning. And then I do think we'll see some sunshine later today. But we are not completely done with the rain. We've got a secondary cold front that will move in for Friday uh, evening and early Saturday. And with that will come yet another chance for some showers uh, moving through southern Kentucky. Well, looking back at the numbers from yesterday, 88 was the official high temperature at the Bowling Green Airport for the first time in, I think, 11, 12 days maybe. Uh, We did not hit 90 degrees. We got close. But we didn't hit 90. 88 was the high. That was a a little bit after 11 o'clock at the Bowling Green Airport, just before it started raining in a couple of places. 85 is the average, so we were only 3 degrees above the average. 71 was our low temperature. 61 is the average low, so that's a 10-degree difference there. A year ago, we had a high of 84 and a low of 59 back in 2014. And as I mentioned, 32 hundredths of an inch of rain officially at the Bowling Green Airport. That brings us up to a whopping 39 hundredths of an inch of rain for the month. We're we're trailing about three quarters of an inch behind for the month of September. We're still on target year to date. Uh, In fact, we have a surplus of about that much, almost three quarters of an inch. So... Yeah, we're pushing it close here, evening out about where we should be on average. I'm glad we didn't go any longer because then we would have been uh, without rain because then we would have been uh, starting to get really behind. Uh, The forecast for today, uh, this first wave, this first front moving through has stalled out. There's an area of low pressure that has formed over eastern Kentucky. And that is going to keep a chance of showers in the forecast this morning. But we are calling for an end to the rain by this afternoon. Now, the further east you go, say if you're going into central and eastern Kentucky, I think some of the rain will continue through much of the day that direction. But if you're, say, from about Bowling Green or, uh, say, the Barren River Lake area west, Uh, We should begin to see a partly sunny afternoon and a high today of 83 with a northwest wind at 4. Now that we're behind that front, we're going to start to feel at least a little bit cooler air beginning to work in. But this this is not the big one. This is not the, uh, uh, as Shane put it, the mother load of cooler air that's coming in. That's going to be later. Partly cloudy tonight. There could be some areas of fog developing thanks to any showers that are picked up today, a low of 64. On Friday, we'll see a 40% chance of a shower or thunderstorm with the passage of that secondary cold front. And that's the front that is going to bring in the much cooler air. So we'll see a high on Friday at 81. But I know that, uh, you know, we've got the balloon glow at Balloons, Tunes, and Barbecue out at the Bowling Green Airport Friday evening. Uh, towards sunset Uh, we've got the 31w treasure hunt the yard sale kicks off today Uh, so does the balloons tunes and barbecue Uh, i think uh, today and this evening is going to be fine 
uh, Friday evening is when we'll have to watch that second front and that chance of rain that could happen just as those activities are getting underway. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, a low of 60, though, maybe even upper 50s for Friday night. Then on Saturday, we're going to continue to put in a 40% chance of a shower until that second cold front actually moves out of Kentucky. And we'll see a much cooler high, though, only around 70 and overnight lows around 50, possibly even the upper 40s as we get into Saturday night and skies begin to clear. Now, the really, really nice day, Sunday, sunshine, very pleasant, low humidity, cool, with a high of only 71 and a low of 49, 49 here in Bowling Green, Sunday night into early Monday morning. Ooh. Jacket weather is already here. We go from 90s to jacket weather. It happens that quickly. Monday, continued pleasant, sunny, 75. And with a more uh, southerly wind flow, we will begin to see a gradual warm-up in the next week. But not hot weather, no. This is nice, 80. On uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, a high of 83 under a mostly sunny sky. Well, that'll do it for this edition of the podcast. God bless as always, and thank you so much for listening. Know the weather before it knows you. Have a great day. I'll see you live at 5.30 on AM Kentucky, streaming live to the WBKO app and to WBKO.com.